This micro lecture under our four soils and hydrology module is going to cover uh, br very briefly a, a review of the major soil horizons that one finds when they dig a soil pit. Uh, sometimes the the different horizons are uh, are well defined and easily defined. Some types of soils in some areas in the U.S. Uh, don't have all five that we're covering, but we still need to to go over them. Um, and the way you get soil horizons is, is basically through a change of the particular soils over time uh, through a number of different physical and chemical processes including um, addition of new soils, loss of soils through erosion or, or leaching or other processes or again a physical or chemical altering of the uh, of the soils in the layer and w uh, or within the uh, particular profile which um, you know gradually lead to the formation of distinct layers within that profile and uh, a profile is simply the section that's that's dug to view the different um, horizons at the very top of a forest soil horizon uh, you typically have the uh, O horizon or the organic layer which is uh, made up of decayed or decaying plant and animal debris including leaves, branches, roots and kind of the, the, the loose stuff. It also in includes some of that uh, humus layer and humus layer is organic material that you can't uh, can't tell what it is anymore. Um, the, the duff layer uh, has that you know very distinguishable characteristics uh, of, of what it is that's decomposing whereas uh, the humus layer is, um, is, is kind of undistinguishable uh, organic matter. So those are the kind of the two layers involved in the, in the O horizon but for, for simplicity's sake just know that that top layer of organic material is called the O horizon. Right below the O horizon you have the A horizon which is what most people refer to as topsoil and that's that uh, you know, mineral layer where the organic matter has accumulated over time. It is, does tend to be darker than the lower horizons um, and over time through, uh, through rain and through leaching um, the, uh, the sand tends to, tends to stay in this area as the other materials leach out. And this is where um, uh, a lot of the, the uh, nutrients uh, are stored in the soil and you end up with a lot of plant growth and, and uh, um, soil microbes and other soil uh, biota in this particular area. The E horizon is just below the A horizon and it's considered the zone of alluviation uh, which consists of a very leached soil. Um, most of the nutrients in this particular layer are gone so the soil is, is rather light colored and a lot of the, the, the types of soils or major soil orders that you see uh, in the U.S. you know, really don't have that E horizon, um, but you do see uh, an E horizon in uh, uh, in forest soils or under forests and sandy soils with a lot of rainfall. The B horizon is what's also referred to as the subsoil, which is called the zone of accumulation. This is where kind of everything, the area where everything uh, ends up uh, through il alluviation. Um, you do have a much lower organic content as much of the organic content is in the uh, in those upper layers but you do end up with more clay the smaller particles have have, have kind of trickled down to this area um, the A, E and the B horizons make up the uh, the, the area where most of the uh, root action and nutrient cycling and, and nutrient processes go on um, and these zones contain the most uh, plant roots as you get into the C horizon, uh, you're, you're really not affected too much by the soil forming processes. The C horizon is usually made up of, of weathered bedrock that's, that's just above the, that bedrock layer, uh, which is called the R horizon. And while you might have some uh, tree roots making it into the bedrock when you have very thin soil layers um, above it, uh, you know, in newer systems or in, in areas where you have a, you know, really, a bedrock really close to the surface, um, you can see, you know, some some roots making it in, and thus, you know, some uh, processes of, of of weathering affecting it. But um, but really, the R horizon is kind of the, that the last uh, uh, the last level of a soil profile. 